just crossing the eye and trying to keep it concealed. Oh, mama, I want it. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about what I'm planning to read in November. There are 14 books on my TBR for this month. Let me explain. This month I really wanted to get into some series. The past two months I've mostly been reading standalone books so I really really am just like ready to dive into a series and dive into like a whole new world. I really want to experience some world building. So before I really get into what I am going to be reading this month, I do want to remind you guys that I do have a Goodreads account, which is always linked below in the description. But all of these books will be on my Goodreads. I have a specific November TBR where you'll find all the books that I talk about today. And furthermore, I will be updating it throughout the month so you guys know what book I'm reading, how far along I am in it, what I'm thinking about it so far. Um, and also, I will be writing reviews for some of the books on my TBR for this month. And I also have a TikTok also linked below. So if you're interested in book related TikTok content, you can check me out on there too. So without further ado, let's get into today's video and talk about what I'm reading this month. First up is the Six of Crows duology written by Leigh Bardugo. And this is actually what comes after the Shadow and Bone series. Now I have not read the Shadow and Bone series. I kind of heard that it's kind of boring. So I've heard this one is better. So I gravitated towards this one first. And I think that if I really do like this, I will go back and read the Shadow and Bone series. But basically this is about a criminal prodigy who is basically given the chance of a lifetime to be rich beyond his wildest dreams. And in order to accomplish that dream, he has to complete a heist successfully. So he enlists a bunch of misfits with various talents to help him successfully pull off the heist. So that's pretty much all that I know about this book. The first book in the series is called Six of Crows. And then the second book is called Crooked Kingdom. So yeah, I'm very interested to see what this is about. I don't know if there is a love story as a subplot or if the whole thing is just about the heist, but I am interested to get into it and see what it is about. Okay, so the next series that I'm gonna talk about is really near and dear to my heart. I haven't read this specific series yet, but there are um, other series by this author that are within the same world. So this is part of the Shadow Hunters series, but this one specifically is called The Infernal Devices, and it is supposed to be the prequel to the Mortal Instruments series. So I love that series. I read it a few years ago, but I absolutely loved it. I read all of the Mortal Instruments with Jace. I don't know if it's Jace or JC. Clary, like Simon. I absolutely loved that series. I know that some people feel certain ways about it, but I don't care, I love it. And if you read through to the end, I think that like your mind may change about it. But anyway, this series is, like I said, set in the shadow hunter world. And if you don't know what a shadow hunter is, a shadow hunter is part human, part angel, and they have been given this gift to protect humans from demons, monsters, etc., like all evil things. We see Tessa Gray, who is mentioned in the Mortal Instruments. We see Will, who is mentioned in the Mortal Instruments. So yeah, this is their story. So I absolutely love the spines of these. You can just tell they all go together. Um, the first book is Clockwork Angel. The second book is Clockwork Prince. And the third one is Clockwork Princess. So they're pretty thick, but I'm very excited to get into these. Alrighty, next up is A Court of Thorn and Roses, also known as Akotar and Akamoff and Akawar. Like, this is what you guys call it on the internet. I don't know. But yes, anyway, it's the series called A Court of Thorn and Roses. And I'm super excited. There are definitely more books than this. I think there's at least two more books in this series. But I'm just going to start with these three because most people say like the first three are the best and like you don't really need to read beyond them. That's not really how I operate. I usually read a whole series, but we'll see. I may continue reading, but I'm going to just see how I like these first three. They are absolutely beautiful. I am obsessed with the colors and just like, oh my God, the covers are just beautiful. It's A Court of Thorn and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, and A Court of Wings and Ruin. I don't know too much about this. I know it's huge. I've decided to go in blind. Like, I don't want to know anything besides what's on the back cover. And basically all that we know is that the main character is a 19 year old girl named Fair and she kills a wolf in the woods and basically a beast comes after her in revenge. 
She finds out he's not actually a beast. He's a fairy. He's part of the Fey world. The Fey world is the enemies of her people. I don't know what she is, but it's like the enemies of her people. She's only ever heard bad things about them growing up. She gets to see a different side of them and she joins together with them to protect them from something or someone that's trying to destroy them. I do know that there is some love stories involved in this. That's all that I know about the series. But I'm so excited to jump into it and We'll see how it goes. Another thing that I really like about this series is the floppiness, guys. Look at this. Look at this. When you're reading a big book, the most annoying thing is when it doesn't flop open or stay open easily. And like, shout out to the author for this design or whoever, you know, comes up with like the design of the books. The first one isn't like that, but it's much smaller. But the second two, and I'm sure the rest of the series are just as floppy, which is beautiful. The last series that I'm planning on reading is the Shatter Me series by Tahiri Mafi. I think that's how you say her name. So I have the six books here, but I do know that there is one or two novellas for this series, but I'm gonna wait till I actually start it and see if I like it before going ahead and buying the novellas. I am very excited because these are dystopian novels and I have not read a dystopian novel in a while. Like I remember there was a time where I was reading YA dystopians like it was my job and that was in high school and I literally thought I'd read all of them but it turns out I have not read this. So I'm very excited because people seem to really, really like it. You have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, Defy Me, and Imagine Me plus the novellas, like I said. But basically in this series, she has this power where everything she touches, she kills. So she's kind of locked away because she's obviously dangerous. But something happens where she actually becomes a valuable weapon that the government tries to use. And that's pretty much all that I know about this book. But I'm very excited because like I said, I used to love YA dystopian novels. So I'm so excited that there is something that I have not read in that genre. So that's all the books that I'm planning on reading this month. I'm thinking of doing a Court of Thorn and Roses reading vlog. So let me know down below if you guys are interested in that. But remember that you can keep up with me on Goodreads. I'll be updating what books I'm reading on there. And also let me know if you've read any of these books. If you have, let me know what you thought or let me know if you're planning on reading any of these books this month too, because maybe we can read them together. And thank you guys so much for the nice comments that you guys left on my last video. They literally made my day. That is all that I have for you guys today. I will see you guys in the next video. When you're not here, the sun don't shine. When you're not near, I don't feel